Uh, I want to introduce uh, a gentleman that uh, has specialized, I got to meet through uh, Jack Salerno at Agiltron, uh, specializes in government contracts and was really kind enough and jumped on the opportunity to host this event. When I came in and met with all his partners, I was uh, wowed by the, uh, the boardroom. It never left me. And so when ML mentioned about an event, I, I immediately turned to Dan Kelly, who's a partner here at McCarter English, and it took him about five seconds to agree. Uh, the good thing about Dan is he's in your space. Uh, he's no negotiated with the big guys. Um, he's dealt anywhere from restoration of companies that have fallen out of favor, getting back into the government, all kinds of contracts with the primes, um, Raytheon included, who happens to be a partner of ours, Dan, uh, as well as Santander. Uh, we've done a number of events over the years with the Raytheon folks, so uh, we're really glad there's a contingent here today. Um, those of you that haven't met the Raytheon folks, uh, there's at least a half a dozen here and I hope you'll enjoy it. So I want to introduce our host today to give us a, a you know, uh, an introduction on, uh, on his role at McCarter English and what he does uh, best, uh, Dan Kelly. Hey. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be real brief. Uh, Bonnie Vansler and I run the government contracts group here at McCarter in English. Some of you may recognize the name Gadsby and Hanna, which was the law firm that I started with, which became McCarter and English in 2006. We are known for more than our conference table, but uh, <laughs> we, we welcome you here to our offices, enjoy our beautiful space, um, and uh, enjoy the food that we're going to be supplying to you today. We're delighted to have you all. Um, as Bob kindly mentioned, that's what we do. We are in your space. We do government contracts. We're one of the few firms in New England uh, that actually specialize in this area and have a team of people who are dedicated to doing government contracts work from compliance to negotiating subcontracts to looking at RFPs and RFRs to helping with IP and a host of other issues. Um, so we're here. Oftentimes we're called when somebody has a problem, um, a really serious problem. I like to get calls when somebody is interested in knowing you know, how to protect their rights, how to bid on a proposal, how to approach a, a, approach a prime contract or a subcontract with one of the big guys, including my friends at Raytheon. So I just want to welcome you here uh, and say that we're very delighted to have you. Uh, and let Bonnie say a few things Yeah, as well. not to repeat what Dan said, um, I'm an associate here at McCarter in English. I've been uh, working in this field for going on now eight years. Um, I'm heavily involved as a leader of the Boston chapter of the National Contract Management Association, um, but I'm pleased to be attending today as my first SBAN event, so looking forward to meeting each of you and to learning more about your organization. And the last thing I want to say is, one of the things that distinguishes our firm is just down the hall and in the floors above and below, we have over 40 IP attorneys, 25 PhDs um, from some of the best institutions uh, in America that uh, specialize in every science you can imagine. So uh, one of the great delights for me is to work with them directly in representing companies that are represented here. They understand the technology. Uh, they assist us in terms of uh, working together to understand, because it's so important to understand somebody's business if you're going to represent them. So finally, thank you to Bob. For, I love Espain. Uh, we did an event for them about a month ago. I think it's a terrific organization. And it's great to fill our conference space with all of you. So enjoy the day. Thank you. So um, this event wouldn't have been possible without, uh, can I let Bob say a minute and then I'll introduce you, Ramel, um, co-chair of our uh, Technology and Innovation Committee, uh, Bob Treber from Boston Engineering. Bob? Thanks, Bob. Uh, so Technology and Innovation Committee, I'm the co-chair along with Jack, we mentioned that earlier. Um, thank you for having us, first of all. This is a great venue. Um, I'm in awe. In the, uh, not only in the real estate, but with the people we, we brought here together. I'm just a simple engineer, and now I'm getting simpler in this crowd. So, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the mission of the Technology and Innovation Committee. It's, it's largely what you see here. That's, that's what we want to do uh, as, as part of SBAIN. 
Uh, we're here to promote and foster small business and small technology business and the technology interests of small businesses. So this is the, the kind of things that we like to do with the Technology and Innovation Committee. I see a lot of potential members here. I see a lot of potential leaders and future co-chairs of the Technology and Innovation Committee. <laughs> so if you're interested in getting involved and you have agendas and you have programs that you're interested in, please let us know. More importantly, if you're interested in volunteering and, and, and rising through the ranks of this committee, please let us know. Uh, Bob Trevor, you can get, get me on the web, or if you really want a quick response, talk to Susan. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Jack, do you have anything to say? I think okay. that covers it. Okay. <laughs>